Hey guys, I'm TF from Spider TV and Can-Am SpiderAccessories.com. Welcome to my shop. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what? We're going to be talking about these grills that go on your 2014 and up RT Can-Am Spider. Our grills are made of stainless steel and they come in, well, original stainless steel. We also have them in what we call phantom black, which is like a textured black. It's a Santec. And my personal favorite, we have them as well in what we call gun metal gray, which is a little bit of an hybrid between the black and the stainless steel. I like this one. It's my personal favorite because it tends to change colors during the day and it gives you that old blacked out look, but keeping some of the detail because it is a little bit shiny and gray instead of black. The original grills when they came out, we only had the spider logo, the laser cut out of the spider logo. And then people started saying, well, Pierre, I really love your grills, but it's not because I own a Can-Am Spider that I want spiders on my Can-Am Spider. So we came out with the RT logo. And what's been happening is that people can have a choice now. They can either go with the spiders they can go with the RT logo. You can have two RT logos, one on each side, or you can actually go with one of each. We also have the plain stainless steel, just the grill, no logo cutouts in them. Now, the added value is that we have them in gunmetal gray, and we also have them in phantom black in all the different models. When on packaging, this is what you're gonna find in your box. Well, first of all, you're gonna find a couple of screws here. You're gonna have six long ones and two short ones. You're also gonna find four of these blocks here that are gonna help you secure your grills to your Can-Am Spider. Hey, we got a little uh, gift for you. It's a Can-Am SpiderAccessories.com lanyard. You're gonna get some alcohol napkins so we can make sure that everything is nice and clean. You're gonna get your business card and you get as well your instructions. And most important, you get your beautiful grills. For this installation, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need, the, of course, the hardware that gave you inside the box, the four blocks, the screws, but for the screws, you're going to need a screwdriver. It's a number one square head screwdriver for this kind of screw right here. And you're going to need a 116 or a 132 drill bit that you can put on to a small drill so you can actually fit it inside where we're going to be drilling. But uh, it's not a must. You can actually, if you have a small screwdriver, and you put the screws here, instead of screwing through the plastic, this is just to pre-drill. You're gonna be able, with a little bit of pressure, to use a small screwdriver and go through the plastic. It's like butter, it's gonna go really easy. Also, I recommend that you have with you, this is not common here, this is just a little bit of water and soap, and this is a microfiber cloth. One other thing, you may want to have a, a vacuum next to you. So before securing the grills, you can go ahead and vacuum a little bit in the back. This is a good time to do that. While you're at it, go ahead and take that microfiber cloth, make it a little bit damp and just get in there and uh, give it a, a wash making sure you take off all the stains and all the road grime that might be there. The spider I'm using for this video is my dad's Can-Am Spider. It's a 2014 R2 basic model. Now you'll see that the holes have already been made and on one side there's a couple of them so my dad is usually uh, the guinea pig for these kinds of things. So he landed me his bike and that's why the holes are already pre-drilled because he's had grills on his Can-Am Spider for the whole 2016 season. 
Now that you vacuum and you've used your uh, microfiber cloth to take most of the grime off, you're going to go ahead and use the little alcohol pads and you're just going to be rubbing along the line of where the shiny plastic meets the matte finish above and uh, on top and at the bottom because this is where your block is going to go and we're using 3M tape with the screw but to make sure that the 3M tape uh, sticks correctly you want to go ahead and use the tampon pads and make that nice and clean. The blocks that we're using have already been pre-drilled so you can put that long screw through it this way and you're going to be securing the block this way inside the hole where the grills are going to go. Now the other three holes on the other side have been put there so that when we are finished and we're going to be securing the, the grill this way, we're going to have three holes that we're going to be able to choose from to secure the grill into the block and we're going to be doing that with these tiny black headed screw. You're going to want that block to be dead center just like this. You want to center it here and you want to line her up this edge right along the edge here. So this one is a good hole and it's about a quarter inch inside or just a little bit over that. You can tell by the distance you have here is the distance that you want there, this way. If you're going to be pre-drilling this, you can see that the little drill that I have here is actually fits in there really nice and tight, but it does fit in there and you can go ahead and pre-drill with a little drill like this. Or if you don't have the drill and you're going to be simply using it with a screwdriver, now this is the way that you're going to do it. You can put your screw through the block using a small screwdriver you're going to be able to when you put it in the right spot then you can just with pressure push hard and the screw with the pressure is going to go through that plastic as it's really thin. So the upper part of the block, now let me get my screwdriver in there and show you this is going to be the hole that we're going to be using. See the line here? It's actually a little harder to see but because it's not a, a, a shiny finish. It's actually matte black on matte black but you can see that line there. So we're going to use the same principle. We're going to go ahead and put our blocks along the line towards you. So the same as you did on the bottom, you're going to do at the top. You're going to take out that 3M tape and put that block right on top. This is where we're going to be using our bottle that's got a little bit of soap in it, water and soap. So we're going to put the grill right here and it is a tight fit but to make sure that it fits in everywhere because it's rubber and plastic, what we're going to do is we're going to spray some of that water and soap all the way around which is going to allow us to be able to move it around get it in there. You're going to be left with four screws now. You're going to have two short ones and two long ones. The two short ones will go on the bottom on each side. Using that short screw you can now choose one of the three holes that's available so you can secure that grill. Here we go. Perfect. Getting the top da done uh, may need you to lie down a little bit so you can get in there. And you'll notice that when you put your screw in, there'll be a longer reach because the grill is actually on an angle like that. So there's a little, there's going to be a gap between the, the grill itself and the block, but not the top of the grill. So I've already got it in there. Let's screw that in there. 
and you just want to lean it against the grill. There we go, beautiful fit. All right, guys, here it is, finished product. This is about a 15 to 20 minute project. As you can see, I also chose to uh, lift the spider off the ground, which gave me a little bit more room to work with, but it is possible and quite easy if you don't have these ramps to still do it from the ground. Uh, when I do the installs, when I'm on the road, I don't usually have these with me, so I, I lay on the ground and I'm still able to do this uh, easily. <laughs> That was easy enough. So that was our video for the RT grills for the 214 and up. If you want to buy some of these grills or anything else that we have for sale, you can go to www.canamspideraccessories.com. That's canamspideraccessories.com. Once again, thank you very much, guys. My name is Pierre, and you've been watching Spider TV.